guys, this is Near Pump from the Underwater Photography Guide and Blue Water Photo. I just got up from two awesome dives in the Pacific Northwest with the Kraken Sports KRL 09S. This is a really interesting lens because it can convert a 60 millimeter macro lens on a full frame camera to 150 degree field of view, fisheye, uh, wide angle. You're able to film both uh, macro and wide angle in the same dive and take photos as well. Uh, I've been really impressed with this lens. I actually was not expecting to get the results that I did. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's as good as my Nikon 8-15, but I took it with my Nikon Z6 and I was really astonished with how nice the fisheye quality is. Um, one of the cool things that this lens allows you to do is it allows you to take advantage of your macro lens also. So your macro lenses tend to be a little bit op uh, more open in their apertures and they can stop up a little bit more. So I was able to shoot from uh, f2.8 all the way up to f32 with my Nikon 60 millimeter macro, which allowed me to go from getting really nice uh, images with a lot of good bokeh and a nice background blur to um, sunballs that were properly exposed and I could get a lot of detail in the sun and have a lot of high dynamic range in my shots. So it's a very versatile lens and if you just want everything in one dive, um, I, I really recommend this lens. It's very affordable. Um, I believe it's priced around thousand dollars and might be a little bit more. And finally, this lens is actually fairly light. I was impressed underwater. It doesn't really add much weight. I wasn't finding that my rig was tilting down at all. Um, what's really cool is I was able to really get into crevices and get into cracks with this lens and take photos really up close to subjects that I wouldn't have normally be with my normal fisheye just because the dome port's too big. So it's kind of a neat, uh, very versatile lens. I'd say, honestly, if you're not interested in just shooting one lens during a dive, this is the best solution uh, with a full frame camera and maybe with some APS-C cameras as well. So now that I'm back on land, I wanna have a quick conversation about compatibility for the KRL 09S. So the lens itself is designed for a 67 millimeter thread. So if you have a port that has a 67 millimeter thread, this lens will screw on. It will also uh, work with a few flip adapters that also have a 67 millimeter thread. Uh, we've tested it on the Nauticam uh, flip adapters and those work, as well as the Saga flip adapters. Now the Saga flip adapters uh, do have a little bit of a notch that you'll need to Dremel out with a Dremel uh, if you do want the lens to sit entirely flush. You don't need to do that, it'll still work fine, it just won't be completely screwed in. Um, so if you're interested in a Saga flip adapter, uh, let us know and we'll explain how to modify it so that you can use it with the lens. And, and the reason is really you have this buoyancy collar and that can hit part of the flip adapter uh, with the Saga adapter. Now the lens itself is rated to a depth of 197 feet, which is well beyond uh, recreational depths. And when it comes to cameras, as I mentioned, this lens is recommended for 60 millimeter full frame lenses on a full frame body. That will give you the widest field of view possible at 154 degrees uh, for the field of view. Now Nikon full frame cameras are currently the only cameras that offer a 60 millimeter full frame lens. Uh, so I do highly recommend it with a Nikon camera. However, you can also use it with a Canon full frame camera and a 60 millimeter lens. That lens will just be cropped, so you'll have less of a field of view. And you can also use uh, this lens with APS-C censored cameras, but you will also have a 1.5 crop there. So you won't have the full 150 degrees. It might be closer to something like 100, 110, 120. It just depends on the lens and body combination. If you have any questions about your lens and your body, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com and we'll try to find the best uh, idea of what that field of view will be for your system. And we haven't tried every system there is out there, but uh, we can say with pretty good confidence that as long as you have a 67 millimeter port and you're able to get the lens pretty close to the actual uh, internal lens in terms of how they sit inside of the port, and how this lens sits on the port. The idea is that you want to minimize the distance between the internal lens and this lens uh, so that you get the best focus and the best field of view possible. Now the lens itself won't be able to focus above water so if you're looking for half and half shots unfortunately it does not work with this lens. And finally I just wanted to talk about my overall experience with the KRL 09S versus a normal fisheye lens that would be dedicated so when I use a fisheye lens underwater, I did notice that I do get more dynamic range 
and the bokeh just has a different quality. It's a little bit softer, it's a little more buttery. Uh, with this lens, the bokeh looks a little bit more like diffraction as you saw in the bokeh test. And overall, the, uh, the KRL 09S does not handle high dynamic range situations quite as well as the fisheye does, but it's very hard to notice unless you're a professional. For what it's worth, you can't beat the value of this lens at only $950. Uh, which is cheaper than just going out and getting yourself a dedicated fisheye lens and then adding a dome port on top. Uh, so it's definitely a more affordable option if you want to shoot macro and wide on the same dive and even if you just want to take wide angle photos. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to drop them below. We'll go ahead and answer those. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to our channel and we look forward to hearing from you um, about your thoughts on this lens. And if you have any questions about compatibility, like I said, reach out to us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com. We'd be happy to get you a quote on the lens, happy to get you set up, and we look forward to getting out there diving some more. Thank <laughs> you.